You guys have probably seen Eddie Cumberbatch all over YouTube and Instagram over the last year. This guy's also known as the original growth operator, and I'm the one who helped him scale up from 54K a month to over 430K a month. We did this using a YouTube organic sales funnel combined with short form content. So in this video, I'm going to walk through exactly how we got him those results. So here's proof. If you don't believe me, I'm also probably going to take a quick cut of the interview and slice it into the video. And revenue wise, like approximately what were you at? Uh, back then we were at about 54K per month. Okay, and no. now we're at January, we finished off at 430K in revenue and all of that was fueled by the content. I also got a Stripe screenshot here, or actually this is ClickFunnels. So first and foremost, who am I? I'm Eamon, the founder of TickScale. We basically handle everything from A to Z for the entire YouTube sales funnel process for online coaches. So our whole goal here was to turn views into cash. We initially started with short form content on Instagram. And then once we started getting traction, we decided to double down and add YouTube into the funnel, which was the best decision of our lives. So keep watching to see why. So step one, maximizing short form content. I'm not gonna go too in depth on the short form content side. I really wanna focus on the YouTube sales funnel aspect, which is what I'm gonna go over in a second. We were making like 16 shorts a month and our number one priority was making a new style and getting a sales letter on a Google doc that we could push traffic to. We used many chat CTAs to push the traffic from the short form content into a Google doc that sold them on a webinar. This document went over how Eddie made 263K within a single year growth operating and we gave it away for free using the many chat CTA I just talked about. We pushed them onto a webinar, sold a 597 product, and then we upsold a 3K or a 4K product. As soon as Eddie started seeing some results on short form content, he knew he needed long form content as a part of his funnel to bring in new high quality traffic, but also convert the traffic that he was already getting from his other marketing efforts. One thing that Eddie said in our interview is that the majority of his 3K upsells were coming from YouTube and the leads that came from YouTube upsold like butter. For context, he was pushing all of his YouTube traffic and all his traffic from other platforms into a webinar and then selling them on a 597 offer. From there, he would upsell them into an inner circle, which was around 3K to 4K. Sometimes he would play with the price point. I quote this directly from Eddie. Every lead that came from YouTube had insanely high close rates compared to the Instagram leads. This is because of the depth of the copywriting we used within the YouTube videos that pre-sold every single prospect. We essentially had a virtual sales rep that Eddie didn't have to manage selling Eddie's program 24 seven. We were bringing in leads with top of funnel titles like this is the most simple business to start in 2024, smartest path to 10K a month, and IPGA is a scam. More on this strategy later, but this is essentially hijacking traffic from other creators. Basically, the IPGA business model was getting a ton of traffic and a ton of ad spend from other people, so the search traffic was going up like crazy. However, the competitors' YouTube videos just weren't optimized, and there also was just not a lot of competition, so we identified a gap in the market and filled it with Eddie's content. So here's more. Alex Hormozzi invested into school, and right away we knew that the search traffic for the keyword school or Hormozzi bought school was going to shoot up like crazy. So the first thing we did is we made two YouTube videos talking about Alex Hormozzi in school. This video popped off. We got 84K views. This one 17K views. But more importantly, Eddie made bank. And I'm talking seven figures. These videos popped off and brought in a ton of cash. So the content worked because we were targeting search traffic to bring in viewers that previously didn't even know who Eddie was. And then inside of the YouTube video, we were selling them on the business opportunity course that Eddie was selling. The name of the business model was growth operating. You know, Eddie's the original growth operator. So we also put out videos that played with pain points that people in the ICP were feeling, such as how to start growth operating with zero dollars. Because some people are starting out with a small amount of capital. So this is the ICP that we were targeting. To go with this, we posted client interviews showing the results that Eddie had gotten people in the past. That way we weren't just bringing in people into the door for the first time. We're also nurturing them with content that lowered skepticism and proved that Eddie could do what he was talking about. We even created videos that targeted specific types of people within Eddie's ICP, such as the laziest way to make 10K a month. This video brought in a totally new audience that may have been put off by Eddie's more complicated videos. Another huge piece of our strategy was the free course video that drove over seven figures in revenue for Eddie and his business. So before getting into that, I just want to visualize what the YouTube sales funnel actually looks like. Cause I know it's a super cool new term, YouTube sales funnel, but nobody's really explaining what this means. So here's what it looks like. Basically at the top, we have top of funnel content, which is action-based and educational. Think of how to make $1 million per year as a two person business, or how to start growth operating with $0. We're essentially telling people the exact steps that they need to take in order to achieve a desired end result that they're searching for. Next up, we got a free course on YouTube. This can be anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and a half long. So this video is going to have no fluff and we're essentially going to give away everything we know but at the same time we're going to gatekeep a little bit so one way we're going to get views on this piece of content is by placing a call to action at the end of these videos pushing all of the viewers into the next step in the funnel which is the free course video and the next way we're going to get views is through search engine optimization tactics so i just put myself in the shoes of my client eddie's ideal prospect and i searched up growth operating guide on youtube and what do you know the first video that comes up is eddie's video and just to prove that this actually works i'm currently signed in into a incognito tab so you can see here on the top right 
So that means there's no previous cookies or history influencing what I'm seeing on screen. You can literally see how we're completely dominating the growth operating niche. Imagine if your online coaching business had this type of traffic from simply a search bar. You literally don't have to pay a single dime in ad spend to get results like this. And last but not least, the final step in the funnel is client interviews and case study breakdowns. A client interview is when you hop on a call with your client and ask a very specific set of questions. And then midway through, you plug your service. And a case study breakdown is essentially exactly what you're watching right now. I don't have Eddie on the phone with me or in the video. However, I'm breaking down how we got him a certain set of results. And after that, we just get money. In terms of what type of funnel you wanna push the people into, you could either do a VSL page, a webinar. There's many options. In Eddie's case, we did a webinar. Now, essentially what we did for Eddie is we helped him build up a portfolio of digital real estate. So as you can see in the screenshot right here, in the last 48 hours, these two videos that we made on the bottom have gotten 300 views. To give you guys some context, this bottom video here, we've made it at this point over nine months ago now, and this free course video was around seven months ago. And they're literally both pumping. You can see here, we're getting 25% of traffic directly from YouTube search. So imagine getting 150 free eyeballs every single day for the rest of your life on a video that you spent less than a day producing. Now imagine making 52 YouTube videos per year. You can see how this stacks up over time, right? Now I know what you're thinking, 150 eyeballs a day, you know, that's not even that much. The thing is you're literally wrong. This is an hour long YouTube video with 25% of the views coming from YouTube search, meaning people are naturally searching for this video, get sold the entire way through and then make a buying decision towards the end. The difference between an eyeball from a random static ad on Facebook and a YouTube video is insane. With paid ads, you're popping up on people's screen without even asking them first. And right away, they're just trying to find a reason to click off of the ad or scroll away. However, when somebody searches you up on YouTube, they want to watch your video, you're going to have a much higher percentage of watch time and the chances of them converting is miles higher. And remember, they're going to hop on your sales calls completely pre-sold so you can close them with ease. So I touched on this lightly, but I'm going to go a bit more in depth. So another core element of our strategy was client interviews and case studies. This is step number three in the funnel. So client interviews are by far the best form of social proof. So we made sure to collect and produce as many as we could. At the time of writing, there's 11 uploaded. So here's a ranking of the different forms of social proof. I'm going to start from the worst, which is on the bottom, text message screen. Screenshots. These can easily be photoshopped or faked, so prospects don't really care too much about these. Next up, we have video testimonials. You know, this is somebody pulling out their iPhone, walking around, and just saying random stuff. And next up, we got screenshots or screen recordings showing results. These can be Shopify dashboards, Stripe screenshots, YouTube dashboards, Klaviyo, you name it. And finally, at the top of the pyramid, we have client interviews, which is by far the best form of social proof. Client interviews are difficult to fake, plus you're going to get to control the exact questions you ask the client. So that's the problem with number three here, video testimonials. The client's just going to pull out the camera and say random stuff, you can't really control it. And then you won't really want to re-ask your client to record another video because they already generously took their time out of their day to record the first one. You're not about to ask them, hey, can you re-record it and say this instead? So remember, most buyers want to make sure they're making the right decision and social proof is exactly what you need in order to convince them to purchase. So here's what we did in a nutshell. Basically, we started by building a high quality audience, right? So this is between short form, long form. All of our content helped Eddie grow a high quality audience of people ready to buy his offers. Next up, we created the viral free course video. So this is the number one video that we worked with Eddie on. Full growth operating course, 100% free. You could search it up on YouTube. We focused our efforts on packaging this video and trusted the title and thumbnail to do most of the heavy lifting to bring viewers in. The thumbnail used a template that was already working for the top dropshipping courses in the space, molding it to fit the growth operating niche was our goal. Once we got the viral free course video done, we started driving high intent leads. The video brought in over 130K views. So I'm about to update this, which is unreal for a video that's over one hour long and gave a ton of sauce to anyone looking to get into growth operating. So if someone's willing to sit down and learn for a whole hour, they're likely a high intent prospect ready to invest in getting the results they want. And next up, we took that audience and funneled them into a webinar and sold them on a 597 product and a three or 4K upsell. We also directed all the traffic into a free school community and made sure to collect everybody's email addresses. Now to scale up to 430K a month, once we had the YouTube sales funnel in place, it was all about just driving in more traffic. We were really focused on giving away a ton of value and bringing in high quality leads into his free group, his webinar, so on and so forth. And five months later, Eddie was making 430K a month from his content. And when we started working together, he was only making 54 k month. So next up, I wanna talk about the pivot into vlog style content. Eddie's team took things into a different direction after the five, six month mark. They moved away from our approach and started to create more raw reality and vlog type content, thinking that this would be the natural evolution for Eddie's personal brand. But that wasn't what Eddie's audience was looking for and it wasn't what the ICP was searching up. The in-house creative director that they hired full-time tried to take the strategy into his own hands, but it completely messed everything up. Their revenue significantly dropped over the two months that they tried to make broad videos and be different. This led them to firing their in-house creative director and hiring a again, as we handled literally everything, right? The creative direction, along with the ideation, scripts, editing, thumbnails, SEO, and posting for them previously. So to say this one more time, yes, we're working together again. So listen up, the same strategy that 
took Eddie from 54K a month to 430K a month will work for you. All you need to do is drive eyeballs to the top of your funnel by optimizing your content and leveraging the right strategies that I went over in this video so you can attract a massive audience and monetize them. Next up, you're gonna hijack the top YouTube search trends and make them your own. By creating content with what your audience is already searching for, you can position yourself as the go-to authority within your niche. And finally, you're gonna turn views into dollars using whatever funnel you have, whether that's a webinar, an opt-in, or directly to a Calendly page. But to do all of the above, you're gonna have to optimize all of your content based on offer and positioning, come up with video ideas that attract the right people and make money, script out videos in a non-robotic way that hypnotizes the viewer into pulling out their credit card, make sure the packaging is optimized, you know, title thumbnail combo. You're gonna have to edit the videos if you're doing that yourself, or if you're working with a freelancer, you're gonna have to quality check the videos and go through multiple rounds of revisions, which is very time consuming and mentally draining. You're gonna have to make a high click through rate thumbnail and run split tests. You're gonna have to write a title that converts everyone who's intrigued by the thumbnail. And you're gonna have to make sure that that title gets organic search traffic. Next up, you're gonna have to write a video description that's short, snappy, straight to the point and gets clicks on your funnel link. And then you're gonna have to post the videos, which can be redundant. And then you're gonna have to make sure that the video is SEO optimized throughout the entire process from the ideation to the scripting to the posting. Contrary to common belief, SEO isn't something that you just do at the end of a video. It's present throughout the entire production flow. So look, you can do all this yourself or we can do it for you and add 10 to 50K a month in new revenue through an organic YouTube sales funnel or you don't pay. So click the link in the description below this video to book a call or if you're reading this document, just book directly using the calendar below. So quick note, this is for online coaches above 25K a month. If you're interested in working with us, whether you're a SaaS company, an agency owner or anything that is not an online coach above 25K a month, we might still be able to work with you. So just DM me YouTube on Twitter, but don't book in a call directly. I'll just have to ask you a few questions in the DMs first. If you wanna see some of our other client results, just check out our website, tickscale.net, or you could see these client interviews on my YouTube channel. All right, guys, so that's the entire Eddie case study. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I had tons of fun making that doc, but if you wanna grab that doc, it's gonna be the second link in the description. And also, if you wanna book a call with me because you're an online coach or some type of online business owner that wants to get results just like Eddie did, then hit the first link in the description. It's gonna be tickscale.net. Book a call with me, you'll speak directly with me, and I'll see how I can help.